Even for the internet, this was a strange one. I kind of felt like I was a hero in the moment. Two mega fans, four hacks, one YouTube star. Someone hacked printers. Overnight fame, global news, then they vanished. You can never hide from the fear and panic that will just haunt you continuously for what you've done. The PewDiePie hackers wanted to warn the world about cyber security. Everyone wants things smart, but no one focuses on security. They also wanted to get famous, but as quickly as they went viral, it all came crashing down. I want to ask the question, has it all been worth it? It's a very hard question. For the first time, I'm scared. Do something! Subscribe. It's now or never, boys and girls. It all started with a plea from this guy, PewDiePie. YouTube's biggest star was being caught up by an Indian music channel called T-Series. The Swedish comedian's army of followers got to work. A bizarre campaign was launched, including billboards, leafleting and posters. One fan, calling himself Hacker Giraffe, decided to take it to an extreme, even criminal level. He hacked an estimated 50,000 printers, forcing them to produce a poster in support of PewDiePie. That's what I need. That's what I'm talking about. Only support to keep me on top is so funny. Just don't do anything illegal, okay? Because that will look bad on me. Thousands of miles away, his hack was inspiring someone else. It didn't take long for them to team up. We've been invited to a small town somewhere here in the rural Midwest of America, the home of his hacking partner. Online, he calls himself User. I was involved in the PewDiePie Internet of Things hacks. I'm going to tell you how we did it, but I'm going to tell you anonymously. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Well, I'm clear. So, Giraffe, you started this all off. And then, and then user, when did you get into so, it? So, I got involved um, when I saw what he did. I think I accused him of being a copycat. So it wasn't more of a copycat, it was more of like, I know there's more vulnerable players than what he's showing. So then you did the one where you joined up together, which was probably the biggest one, wasn't it? That was the biggest one. This time, they reckon they got 100,000 printers. Posters appeared in homes and offices all over the world. You know, I was completely blinded by the whole fun aspect of it. It did feel exciting. I felt kind of like a, you know, a hero. Like, I'm going to change the world and, and, and you know, actually make a difference. I felt like I was doing good. Like, after this, vulnerable printers are going to drop. There's no doubt about it. Technically speaking, the hackers weren't hacking. Open port vulnerabilities have been known about and exploited for years. But never at this scale. And for their next stunt, the pair wanted to target a new device to highlight a different vulnerability. You're trying to dethrow me from spot on number one. And it worked. TVs using Google Chromecast dongles played out a video around the world. It came with a warning. Secure your device. Oh, and of course, subscribe to PewDiePie. Come on, T-Series, looking hungry for some drama. Of course, just like with the printers, we'll never know how many times the video was played out to confused viewers. But what we do know is that once again, with a push of a button, these teenagers managed to gather headlines around the world and even the attention of Google. For Giraffe and user, it was the exposure they'd been dreaming of. But then, everything changed. You see your name uh, in the news and you see people thanking you and you're really stuck in this really happy state. But then it dawns on you that there might be consequences to, to what you're doing. All this stress kind of kept piling and piling and piling. And I guess after the Chromecast ones, it hit a critical point and I just broke down. And it wasn't just the fear of being caught that became too much. 99% of them were good, positive messages. Like, you're, you're doing something good. And that 1% is like people sending me pictures of nooses. Like, kill yourself. With mounting online abuse and the prospect of jail time hanging over them, all their other planned hacks were cancelled. But the teenagers are insisting they have made a difference. And this 
A before and after scan of printers open to their attacks, they say, is the proof. This number here was about 70, 60,000. And now it's dropped down to 39,000. So I believe through our attacks, a positive difference and these people are securing their printers. There's no doubt that fun and fame was a big part of the motivation here, but these teen hackers have made an impact in an area where security is an increasing concern. We don't know whether or not the authorities are trying to find them. There's a good chance they'll be looking over their shoulders for a lot longer than their internet fame lasted.